Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Buffalo Sabres at Vancouver Canucks Game 5 recap. So let's recap it. And these boys, the Buffalo Sabres, get the win in Vancouver. They are 3-0 on this four game western road trip so far and then they end this road trip Tuesday night in Seattle and then they come home uh, to Key Bank Center in Buffalo to take on the Montreal Canadiens so let's recap it goals of course Buffalo 5 Vancouver 1 5 to 1 was the final score uh, shots, Buffalo 27, Vancouver 30, so not too bad. Uh, Craig Anderson only faced 30 shots, uh, made 29 saves. Block shots, Buffalo 18, Vancouver 14. Hits, Vancouver 40, Buffalo 17. So, we got to fix that as well. Faceoffs, Buffalo 25, Vancouver 31. This was better tonight, this category, and I'm happy about it tonight. Although they only had one opportunity, they went one for one on the power play. Vancouver was one for four on the power play. Penalty minutes, Buffalo eight, Vancouver two. So, in the scoring, let's take a look. Here we go. In the first at 535, it was Buffalo's Rasmus Dahlin. His fifth of the season, a power play goal, assisted by Casey Middlestat, his third, and Tage Thompson, his second. And it's one nothing, good guys. And then at 15-18, still in the first, it was Buffalo's Alex Tuck, his sixth of the season, assisted by Jeff Skinner, his second. And after one, it's 2 nothing Buffalo. And then in the second, at 13-27, it was Vancouver's Connor Garland, his second of the season, a power play goal assisted by Tanner Pearson, his fourth, and Ilya Mikheyev, his first, and after two, it's 2-1 two Buffalo. That was the, that Vancouver goal was the only goal in the second period. And then in the third, Buffalo opened it up and lit him up. At 154, the third, it was Buffalo's Victor Olofsson, his third of the season, assisted by Casey Middlestat, his second, and Rasmus Asplin. Or Casey Middlestat, his second of the game, his fourth of the season, and Rasmus As Asplin, his second of the season, and it's 3-1 to one Buffalo. And then at 1631, it was Buffalo's Zemgis Giggensons. His second of the season, assisted by Victor Olofsson, his first, and Kyle Poso, his second. And it's 4-1, good guys. And then at 17-21, to finish the scoring, it was Buffalo's Victor Olofsson, his second of the game, his fourth of the season. Assisted by Rasmus Dahlin, his third, and Rasmus Asplin, his second of the game, his third of the season. 5-1, Sabres. Let's take a look at the penalties. In the first period at 5-11, it was Vancouver's Tyler Myers, two minutes for holding. And then at 6-19, it was Buffalo's J.J. Paterka, two minutes for hooking. And at 8-53, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, two minutes for high sticking. And then in the second period at 11-40, it was Buffalo's Rasmus Dahlin, two minutes for tripping. And then in the third at 6.39, it was Buffalo's Ilya Labushkin, two minutes for hooking. Uh, Matias Samuelson got injured in this game, so now um, a third straight game. We had to uh, have our defensemen play extra time, so uh, we need to either sign a free agent defenseman, trade for a defenseman, or call up another defenseman. Uh, they did call up Lawrence Pilot, but um, he wasn't with the team tonight. So, uh, But they did have Casey Fitzgerald, so they put him in. Uh, 
And I like I like how Don Granado has these kids playing. They have a chance to sweep this four game road trip in Seattle on Tuesday night. They swept the Canada part of it. Uh, they are still undefeated against Canada this season. They beat Ottawa in the season opener at home in Buffalo. They went into Edmonton and beat them 4-2. They went into Calgary and beat them 6-3. And they went into Vancouver and beat them 5-1. So uh, Don Granado has these kids playing some good, good hockey. Uh, and they're not afraid either. Like uh, in recent years, the past couple of years. Um, but Alex Tuck, you know, he, he got another one tonight. And... I am so happy that they traded for him uh, and got rid of Jack Eichel. Uh, Alex Tuck has worked out pretty good for us. Um, Owen Power also had a good game. Kyle Ocposo as well. Victor Olofsson with two goals. So, uh, my stars of this game, my third star has to be Alex Tuck. Uh, getting his sixth of the season uh, and putting Buffalo up 2 nothing in the first. And then my second star, of course, goes to goaltender Craig Anderson. Uh, if they can keep getting this kind of goaltending out of Anderson and Comrie uh, all year, they can make the playoffs. They really can. Uh and then my first star of this game, he keeps making history, uh, Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, the first defenseman in NHL history to score a goal in each of his first five games. So Rasmus Dahlin making history, and I think he can get uh, another one in Seattle. On Tuesday night. Uh, so the Kraken are 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Uh, The last I looked. Uh, they may play again before we play on Tuesday night. So Buffalo gets tomorrow and Monday uh, to rest. They're going to stay in Vancouver, I guess, a day or two before they fly out to Seattle uh, to take on the Seattle Kraken. But guys, they, they have a chance to sweep this road trip. They are 4-1 and one on the season. They have 8 points. They are just 2 points behind Boston, uh, who is uh, in first place in the Atlantic Division. Um, and our next few games uh, are also winnable. Like I said, at Seattle on Okay, they have it listed on Monday, not Tuesday. Uh, they have this listed as a Monday night game. So, but uh, that's wrong because uh, they don't have uh, Vancouver on here. So, uh, that's, that's wrong. But uh, on this... It lists that uh, we play them Tuesday, October 25th at 9 p.m. Eastern, eight or 9 p.m. my time, 10 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, I think Seattle might play before Tuesday. Uh, I know they played in either last night or the night before. And guys, they the Seattle crack and beat the Stanley Cup champs. So. Uh, it's, it's going to be another tough game, but Seattle Seattle doesn't scare me. Um, and I'm ready. I'm ready for Seattle. Um, the, 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 the Sabres are red hot right now. And I said, you know, in, in a previous video that they would get off to a hot start. Uh, and I think they're going to keep rolling. Uh, Don, Gran Don Granado is going to keep them rolling throughout the year. Yeah, there's going to be games where uh, they lose, you know, one one goal games or, you know, they face adversity like they've been the last three games, but they're going to overcome it. And this team 
in, in, is well improved. And look at their only loss was to Florida, and they only lost by a goal. And Florida is a very, very good hockey team, just like Edmonton, Calgary, Ottawa. Um, Ottawa, who made many, many moves in the offseason, uh, and we beat them. So, uh, so we go into Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver and beat them all. Uh, we improved to 4-1 and one on the season, which is good. And uh, Tuesday night, we play the 2-2-2 two, two, and two Seattle Kraken, uh, who I think play uh, before we play them on Tuesday. So their record could change. But guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. This is Sports Dom. Peace. Go Sabres. And let's beat the Seattle Kraken in Seattle on Tuesday. And uh, quick, we wish uh, Matias Samuelson a very quick uh as he got injured uh, on a hit behind the net. So, uh. Uh, right now he's day to day, but we wish him a very, very quick recovery. Go Sabres. Let's beat Seattle in Seattle on Tuesday. Go Sabres.